Hey yo, what it do, gang? It's your boy Lee John. Now I'm back with another mother loving video, baby. And always remember, you better wake up, make your list, start a comp it because it ain't done you waiting. How do you expect to have any leeway? And another thing, you better remember one thing: you better get what you deserve and not what you serve, and that's on God, man. Let's go, y'all. We are back with another one. Y'all remember I've been stuck on this truck tire, right? I've been stuck on it for a while. For a while. Don't mind, man. They be eating my slurpees and they ate my stuff. Oh, yo, them kids, bro, they drank my stuff in my morning drink, bro, man, can I tell you how upset I am right now, okay, <laughs> boy, I was wondering why I was by my rim, they ate my shit, they drank my shit, boy, that was my morning, now I gotta go get some more yogurt and shit. Ah, oh, man, it is what it is, y'all was talking about. So as you guys can tell, this didn't leave yet. But I'm looking at this. This is a 26 by 12, my room. And I'm trying to build the confidence on going sixes on a truck because I love how I look, except I'm going to want a 26 by 14. Or a 26 by 12 will work, too, regardless of anything. It will still had a look, still be built like this. And this is a 40. A 35 is almost the same size as that on a 26. Because this is a 30. This is two sides a little bit bigger. So the rim, my 26 by 14 on the truck would be like this. And I'm thinking like, I'm like, I'm going to need a little bit of a thicker tire. A 45 on a 22 would be perfect for towing. But you got to remember like 30, I mean, it's 26 by 35, 26 by 37. They do got 36s, 38s, 39s. Those are the thicker tires. So I'm trying to stick sleek. I'm trying to be able to I can, I'm trying to be able to get street tires and all the stuff and everything. I like the way how this sit. And this is just me brainstorming. I'm just bringing y'all into it. I'm just trying to brainstorm because I ain't going I want a rim like I want this specific rim on my truck. So when I do start my truck build, I do want to go 24s, but at the same time I want to have a work truck and I want to have a regular truck that I'm building. So if I got a regular truck I'm building, I'm going to go sixes. Plain and simple. Like when I get there, I'm going to want to go sixes or eight. Plain and simple on some nice tires. So it's going to be by 14. I'm going to just sit here and tell y'all. It's going to be 26 by 14 or 28 by 14. They do make those. For a lot of people that was asking that question, they do make 28s by 14s. I don't know if JTX is the only ones that do it. I don't know if 4G or Armani or anybody else can do that, but a lot of folks love to have spacers. I like direct bolt on because I will have a lift on mine about 10. It depends on what size I go. Like, let me show y'all real quick. Sorry for all the noise. What's going on? Go here real quick. I just want to show you all this. Because I actually was looking at a ram yesterday. With so much misinformation about this plant, I need a trusted source for my... Because more than likely, I want, my, I want a third gen to be there. All right. For y'all to see this. This is like a 10 and a half inch lift right here. Those are meaty ass tires. I'm going to want my lift to be a little bit more, you know, like a striker or something, a little bit more going up and stuff and everything. But I want it to be like this, but except I want, I want bigger, I want bigger rims. I ain't going to lie. I want bigger rims. These type of tires is not my kind of tough of tea because I'm only going to tow one car. And, like, I'm not going to try to tow a lot for that. So this is just an extremely lifted one that I will put some 28s on or some 30s probably you probably want to go a little bit higher to fit the 30s i don't know if you need a 12 to a 14. um let's come in different things i'm just giving y'all idea because y'all know i want to build a third gen like a third gen lifted truck there's one out there with tummins he's on some 28s i f love his truck fucking love it like his truck that's that's um lifted lifted got the roll pan Got all types of stuff on it. For his. Wrong one. Let me see. 
let's just go to the let's go to the search thing. I know I posted. I'm going to be talking about some G body stuff later on, y'all. I just really wanted to talk about trucks. Like, look at that. Like that's on 28s and a lift. He got a roll pan and everything. Like that mug looks good. I like that. You got the cab lights on it and everything. A show truck. You can drive it a lot of places. Can't have fun with it and stuff. Mega cab. It's nice and clean. It's just on the back. You know he ain't got the um got the bar, but that's it at daytime. That's it at nighttime. Like that's dope and be able to tow the Monte Carlo or to tow to something to have I might not go this high I might go a couple of inches down but just to be like this this is clean as hell when it comes to the third gen he, he killing the game but this is another look this is on some 26 by 12s 26 by 14s I meant to say on some 35s and this this can be more achievable in a budget for me but I still want my I still want my kit my like kit and stuff to be like this that could be a good show truck right there. Yeah, he ass eating season. So like, this is a clean ass truck build too. If you don't want to go lifted or extreme or anything, oh, let me do this. Like y'all got to look at that. Hold on. Like it's it's clean as hell. I'm talking about this is for the truck I take for shows and have fun and stuff and. I don't mind having skinnier tires because I will only tow a car or a truck or something. This ain't going to be my work truck. This ain't going to be my everyday. But just look at it. Like, that's on 26 by 14s. That's more doable. You feel me? That's more doable for me. Except I have my lift a little different. But he... he clean as hell and nice as hell too like this is dope and don't mind my dirty nail I've, I've been moving car stuff so i gotta clean up my nails and stuff i take great care of my hands so this move right here is dope so the only thing about it is i take a couple of components off the other one and put it on this one but this is more likely the one i would want to go with i want to have the cab lights and everything and stuff and light it up like a tree this is more doable for me and those and like i said those 26 by 14 so this would be more my style. The other one is more like overexerted, but I be I be I, I could just tell you I would want to drive my truck. I want to be able to get on the turnpike, drive it everywhere and stuff. Not saying you can't do it on lifted life. I'm just not about that lifted life yet. I got to get fully into it, but that's more my style to a point where I can still be able to get my cars and still just get the tow and just feel comfortable with Jim being on the road, going a good certain distance and stuff and everything. So a good 26 by 14 on 35, still can tow a car and everything and stuff and feel good and stuff and look good. But of course me, I have more of a custom, a custom paint job, but that's the slut bus ride, by the way. Zach, if y'all don't follow him, go follow him, man. He just started his YouTube channel. Interesting. I like it. Like I said, I love it when people can be themselves, talk shit. If you be around country boys, you understand where they what they be doing because I be around country folk all the damn time. That shit be hilarious, boy. I don't give a fuck about your background. I don't give a fuck about what you got going on. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. When you a cool motherfucker, you a cool motherfucker. Plain and simple. You know how motherfuckers be trying to do that separating shit. Look, I know what crowd I belong in. I know what crowd they belong in. I know where I will go. They know where they will go. Then in the fucking day, can you be decent human beings and coexist with one another? Fuck yeah. Because them motherfuckers are some bad, badass motherfuckers. Always keep a motherfucking badass white boy around you. Tyler. <laughs> Except I don't trust him with his own life. So we might have to just rediscover that. But yeah, I'm just telling y'all about trucks and stuff and where my head is at and how I want my third gen to come out. Like, I want to get me two trucks, literally. I would have my regular truck just to have it for now on, you know, going and stuff. But that's what I want to have. I want to have me a show truck and my car. That's why I like, even with the G8, the G8 is put on the back burner because at least if I give me a clean ass truck, I can at least get a, a nice 
lift powder coated i can at least color coordinate it i'd rather get it in black though me personally i think black fits me when it comes to a third gen if i can get an all black third third gen fully loaded i, I would be extravagantly happy i don't care if it's slt or limited whatever if i can get fully loaded with sunroof and everything where i can have everything black and get everything fixed and ceramic coated and stuff or whatever i'm gonna be happy with that i will go with the black and chrome look on that that would be that'd be more my style when it comes to that like that shit like that will play out real good so um see what else we can get into man so we can finish off this video because we're talking about trucks but yes i really do with i get a blue one if i can get a blue one then too it'll be cool but i prefer a black people you know in the truck world they get black or white me personally it's gonna be like my fun show truck i can just drive everywhere and have fun in and stuff and break some shit and just keep going so i would love to get it in black that specific truck so holla and the other reason why i'm gonna get it in black is because i can wrap it without doing my door jams you know so if i choose to go a teal color or some notes i ain't gotta wrap my door jams i'd rather have a black truck than any other color truck because i'll get any color i wrap the truck i'll have a color coordinate with black my preferences yo man we back um we just up at the parts store with sean y'all i've been thinking about so much it is just like it'd be fun just to be part of the truck i don't care how many miles on the truck and stuff it's just gonna be fun to be able to have a truck and build it slow and still use it every day and then you know building my old school of course i'm gonna have it but the reason why i want the truck to be black is because it can be versatile with anything i have on the back the truck have its own image black with the black trailer and the other thing could be good itself like that's what i love that's why i'm building it the way i'm building it and it's probably like i said i, I don't know i really want to do a striker lift but that's what a lot of folks don't like you got to get into all that to get to know it so I'm gonna be learning more about it and stuff. Like I said, I just want to be able to tow at least up to a good car or another truck on the back with the tire setup I'm gonna have. I'll be if I can do that, I'll be good. But I don't care about a gooseneck on that one. But if I have one, I have one. But I'd rather have my work truck, the long box, to have one. So I've been looking at door maxes and Fords for that one. So it's gonna be up in the air. He's not back here. So, it's going to be up in the air with that one. Me personally, like a work truck, I'm really thinking about doing a Ford. Be completely honest. A Ford or a Ram or a Door Max, I'm open to all of them with that. People think Door Maxes are the worst. No, they're not. I don't care what anybody say, they're not. Um, People can be where they want to be, say what they want to say, but... I drive diesels, man, so I had the pleasure of being able to drive all types of ones, even some of the newer ones and stuff. Um, and yeah, you really can't go wrong, but the Ford, if you keep the truck for what it's built for, because everybody complain about trucks and stuff, if y'all built them what they're used for, then they're doing, going to do a great job, plain and simple. But when you do stuff, lift them and everything and stuff, that's when the problems come. Everything gonna have a problem, y'all. It's manufactured. If it's built, it's gonna always break. That's why you gotta rebuild it. So, just pay attention to that, man. Keep your eyes open on all that. And I'm gonna see what else is going on. Hey, when did y'all get that in there? I was to say, when did they get that in there? I didn't even know they had that. Um, so yeah, I'm over here doing my research on all this. Like, I had to get, I had to get flexor flies. I'm, I'm just comparing my unit because the reason why is when I do get my Ram, and it's gonna be the third gen black. I am putting a box on it to the point where I'm going a lot of this stuff in the bed in the toolbox of the bed, so I can have for my protection, like. A jack, all that. The bed is gonna have its own section so I can have stuff just for the road. I'm not playing. <laughs> I wanna be safe as possible. And I'm even thinking, like I said, I'm even probably gonna have a, another rim 
well, not, I'm probably not going to have another roommate, but I'm going to have a, a tire in the back and buy two extra tires just in case. So, that's how I say if I want to be. So, everything ain't going to go your way. You, you're going to run low. Everything ain't going to go as planned. But you just got to set up, set yourself up for the best possibilities, man. I'm just... I'm just happy that everything I'm talking about is obtainable because I can build that truck for as much as my Durango is worth off the lot. I can get a third gen, about 23. Lift Williams tires and all that could be all the way up to like 35, 40K. That's as much as my Durango. I can have me a killer truck build for as much as my Durango is up brand new off the lot. Ain't that crazy? I could have my Monte Carlo built. <laughs> so many things I could have had built. But I love that truck so much, and I still do. So, stabilize your income, bro. My beat is so recital. My bad, y'all. We back. Um, I know this vlog is more of me just talking, but I just really want to let y'all know that's where my head at with the personal truck build. Like, the personal truck that I want to have for myself, drive, and just feel good with my family, hit the road, and just be gone, man. Like, literally. Some look good, still casually use it. Do some truck things. I ain't gonna be doing a lot of truck things, but something that I can feel good and I can drive and pull up and people just look. Like, I love that. Like, people love your build for what it is and you can just sit there and just enjoy it. Honest to God, true. I might not go with the the money's inside there for the truck. It's it's so many different wheels that I love to go for a truck now. Like it's just them total wheels. It's on me like crazy, man. I just want to put that specific wheel on something. Like I want to put on the money color, but I don't want to go fours. Somebody did it. I'd rather go sixes on the money, but I want to go fours on my money. So it's like, ugh, ugh. Your mind everywhere with this, man. That's what I want for a freaking daily right there, boy. I'm talking about for the work truck. I want that Sierra. That Sierra 2500, man. The thing look good. I don't need no dually. I can just get me my regular degler. But, um, I will, but I am about to end this video off so I can edit it and upload it because it's the same day as I upload the other one, so... Let me finish this video off with some G-Body talk when we get to the house. Just to give y'all something that y'all can catch up with. I keep lying to myself. This will look good on a truck. Y'all, bro, God, man. <sighs> me not using this well on my Monte Carlo is going to be the death of me. Excuse me. Just drinking. But this is going to be the death of me. Because that wheel is so fucking fire. And for me to get it cut, it'd be sitting in my garage every day. Like, <sighs> bro, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We going to use it. We going to use it. I know that for a fact. But it's like, oh, man. Like, if I was to go 26 on my Monte Carlo, I would literally get those wheels with a 6 or a 7-inch lip on it. But I want to go for it. But to get to something that y'all want to know about something. Don't pay attention. Oh my god, I hate that, y'all. As you guys can tell, I got the space back open. I'm about to start cutting and stuff and everything. But somebody um, specifically asked me what seats do I want to go with a car. Look, I'm going with Carl seats. The reason why I don't want electric seats in my car is because I want it to still feel old school with a lot of new amenities. Like I want to, I want to have a lot of new features in here. But I just do not. There's certain things that I want to give up with power. I don't want power seats. If I have power seats, it, it could, they can shut down. They can mess up. Anything electrical. Like, get a lot of new amenities, but sacrifice some things that you don't need on the inside. I do not need power seats in my freaking vehicle. I don't need power seats. And there's one other thing I don't need power for. That, can, that saves me a lot right there. Do not need it. Um, of course, digital dash, all that other stuff and everything, that gotta be it. But the seats, y'all, I love my Recaro seats. I'm not gonna take that back. I'm telling everybody, 
just do what you want to do with your car. But me personally, I do not want to touch, feel, or anything on the side. I'd rather go on my car, get my custom bracket to where my seat sit further back, and be able to slide my seat forward with my legs the way I want it. Yes, it's great to have electrical seats in, in your car and stuff, but electrical seats are always not perfect for every car. I'm the type of guy I actually enjoy having manual seats. That's just my preference. That's just something I like. So, with that being said, y'all, um, that was a little G-Body talk of the day. I just wanted to give y'all that little bit, man. Get what you want for your vehicle. But me, Lee Johnson, Lee Edward Johnson, whatever the hell you want to go by, <sighs> I like manual seats, bro. Plain and simple. But let me upload this video, man, so I can get up a start on the next one, man. I love y'all. I'll holler at y'all later.